Hey everybody, this is Uncle Cheese. I'm going to show you a new feature of the Data Object Manager that's been in the works for a while right now. Um, uh, this is called the Nested Data Object Manager, and it's something that comes up from time to time when you might have a need to put a Data Object Manager into a pop-up window. If you've tried that, uh, you've probably noticed that it breaks for a lot of reasons. Um, there's some there have been some JavaScript issues getting it to work into a pop-up, and there's also just issues with the model and controller that uh, that cause it to break. So um, I'm going to show you how we can set up a relationship of a data object to many other data objects. And you'll see in the example I have here that um, we're working with employees, and I'm going to show you quickly what the model looks like. I have an employee and some standard fields there, and you'll see um, an employee is a data object. It doesn't get its own page. It's just a just a data object. And uh, in my has many, I have um, an employee has many schools, and I also have that an employee has many resumes. And uh, uh, granted, an employee might only have one resume, but for the purposes of demonstrating this, we're going to say that you can up upload multiple. So, of course, that's going to require that I have a data object manager in my pop-up window for schools and I also have a file data object manager to manage the resumes and here's the school object I have my has one employee and then a, a title of the school the degree earned and the graduation year in the resume object I have just a title and description of the resume it gets the has one back to the employee of course and uh, always the you know attachment file and of course you can call this whatever you want I always use attachment um, and then the template is pretty simple we control the employees and loop through the schools on that employee and loop through the resumes on that employee so let's um, show you how this works we'll add an employee and you'll notice first that since I have included a data object manager in the pop-up, we get a much wider viewport for the pop-up window because we need to accommodate a lot more information when we're using a data object manager. So, um, like a file iframe field or, or other objects that are dependent on the controller being defined first, um, it's picking up that we have no ID for this data object, so it's not going to give us those data object managers until we save for the first time. So let's call this... Um, And we have a smart um, save button that's going to pick up on the two data object managers that are present in the pop-up and uh, give us a nice readable um, schools and resumes we know what we're getting into. And it's going to redirect us right back to the object with the data object managers present. So let's add a school. And you'll see we have a new kind of UI. It's a challenge figuring out how to put a pop-up in a pop-up, but uh, this is just a homemade kind of thing. I didn't want to get anything too heavy, but you know it's pretty simple. We dim out the, the data object manager uh, behind it, and we can create. You can see I've been doing a lot of testing here. Um, let's say Massachusetts here. get the same functionality when we close it should refresh with the new information and I'll also show you that we can now add files to the data object this gets a little clunky I'm not too crazy about where this is now but um, let's just add a couple of random files here And there you have it. Of course, we can still, we have all the functionality of a regular data object manager. We could enable sorting if we wanted to. That's all been tested. And of course, we can always edit a record.
So I'll save that out. And let's see what this page looks like. So here's the employee, schools, two resumes. So this is still in testing. Um, I will make it very clear that um, this will not work in any Silverstripe version prior to 2.3.3. So you need the newest version of Silverstripe. Um, I have been working on this a while and I could never get it to work. Um, and for some reason, when 2.3.3 came out, it just magically started working. So, um, so that was uh, a, a welcome <laughs> um, arrival from Silverstripe uh, to get this working. Um, it's still very much in testing, so if you want to play around with it and, and see how you do. Uh, I haven't quite finished cross-browser testing it yet, but um, I think this will be an exciting addition to the event calendar. Uh, where you can add multiple times to a date and so forth. So enjoy the nested data object manager, post your bug reports and everything else, and, um, and compliments are always welcome too. So uh, thank you very much for listening and enjoy.